everybody. Thanks for joining me. I have an Ulta haul to share with you today. It's a little bit of everything. I've got a few little like individual products that I picked up, a few other holiday items that I'm really curious about and will likely end up reviewing for you or doing looks with very soon. Um, first thing I want to mention is this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is one of those concealers that I get asked about all the time and it just drove me to go ahead and purchase it. People are asking, is it really that good? How good is it? So I got it in the shade Light New and this is what that looks like. I do think it is the right color for my skin and it is a really lightweight concealer. I don't feel like it's that unique compared to like my Maybelline Better Skin that I had been using kind of in combination with a corrector type product for the under eye circles. When you're up, you know, two to three times in the night with a teething baby, you're going to have that. So I do like the consistency of this. I think it wears well, but when I first got it, I used it without any sort of added corrector for the under eyes and I didn't think it was quite enough. Like for the real dark areas, I felt like I needed a little bit extra. I think maybe more light to moderate discoloration, this might be the answer. But like I said, it really behaves like um, my Maybelline Better Skin, which I like a lot. I think that's a really good concealer. I wanted to test out Mally's new lip gloss. I believe these are called H3. Um, I think that stands for hydration something and something. <laughs> I'll have to look that up, but the shade I chose was Perfect Nude. Just kind of took my best guess for a shade that I thought I would get a lot of wear out of, and this is Perfect Nude on my lips. This particular shade has no shimmer, and I would call it kind of a dusty rose. You know, it's very shiny, and I was kind of surprised at how pigmented it is for how thin it is. It's a very comfortable gloss on the lips. It's a pretty color. I really like Mally's um, High Shine Liquid Lip Colors that come in the little click-through pins, and I feel like those have better staying power for me than this. I think maybe just the thinness of this product, like it wears away faster. The packaging is definitely pretty. It's a cute product and it's just a standard doe foot applicator, kind of like the Naked Skin Concealer. I mean, it's just a like, not a love for me. It's not something I think I'm going to go out and purchase any more shades of, but I just wanted to share with you. Wanted to try this from Soap and Glory. It's called the Scrub of Your Life. I've been slowly trying so many things from this line and enjoying them so much. I think I need to do an all-encompassing, like, here's what I've used from Soap and Glory, here's what I recommend type video. Now this scrub I have not yet tried, but it smells kind of like um, the body wash. I think it's called Clean On Me, but um, just a scrub option. So I will definitely test that out, let you know what I think. And the other thing I got is just a little thingy here from Hemp's. It's their Triple Moisture Winterberry Creme Brulee Herbal Whipped Body Cream. It's limited edition. And I just thought I've had great luck with the lotions and stuff from this line. Um, I think I want to try something new. It smells absolutely amazing. I mean, it's berry, it's, I don't know if I would pick creme brulee out of that scent, but I mean, it's really good. It's like berries and cream kind of scent is what it makes me think of. But I haven't actually used this on my body yet. These lotions have a reputation for working really well with me, um, good for sensitive skin on the body. Another little bundle that I came across that I really wanted to mention to you guys because I thought, what a great price, and this is something that I might like to give to someone. It's from Nivea, and it says, give the gift of Care, and it's this little pouch. It's $8.99 and it comes with four different things in here. And you guys know I am a huge fan of the Nivea lip balms. And in here you're getting two. One of them is the tinted version. It's called A Kiss of Color and Care. I reviewed these way back when, but this one is called Sheer Berry and it looks really dark. It's actually just a beautiful like berry wash of color on the lips. It's gorgeous. And then the other is just one of their standard lip balms for when your lips are just out and out parched and you need something on them. This is the Kiss of Moisture Essential Lip Care. All of these Nivea lip balms, I tell you, the um, Olive Oil and Lemon, the Kiss of Smoothness, whichever one you grab for, like, it's gonna feel great on the lips, especially when your lips really need some help. And then you get one of these classic Nivea creams. I haven't used one of these in a long, long time, and I would open it up and show you, but it is sealed. Um, it just looks like a white cream. I have found this stuff to be pretty heavy duty, and you can really put it anywhere that you're especially dry. So, and the size is just, it's so compact. I love that. And then you get a pretty generously sized body lotion here. This is a 2.5 ounce um, essentially enriched body lotion. It says almond oil, noticeably smoother skin for dry to very dry skin. So this would be new to me. I have not yet tried this, but it seems like the kind of thing that could be A, very gender neutral, and B, it's got the Nivea name on it. I've been very happy with their, you know, moisturizers, lotions, and different things I've used in the past. So I just wanted to share that little kit with you if you're looking for 
some stocking stuffer ideas. $8.99, I feel like you get a lot, and it's the type of thing anyone would use and like. Oh, I forgot about this other thing from Soap and Glory that I picked up. It's Winter Wonderland, and it's a set of the hand food hand creams. And I don't know if my mom has caught on, but the past few years I've been getting her little hand cream sets. I think last year I got her some from Philosophy. So mom, spoiler alert, this one's going to you. <laughs> Maybe something to look forward to. But this has the three different scents, and I do have a hand food hand cream of my own, and I really like it. I like that it's not too, too thick. It's not the kind of hand cream that you put on and you sit there spending forever waiting for it to like melt into your skin and not be so greasy so you can move on and do other things. You know, it's like a quick, easy hand cream. And this has three scents in here, including the Sugar Crush scent, which I love in the body moisturizer. It's got Original Pink Rose, which I assume is the same as the regular one I have and then this one is called Smoothie Star. And who can't use, you know, a little size hand cream to throw in their purse or to just, you know, keep by their nightstand or something like that. I know my mom is hard on her hands. She works hard, she cooks a lot, and she can definitely use something like that. I gotta tell you, you guys, your questions drive so many of my purchases. When I see that I'm getting a lot of tweets or a lot of just random questions on social media about this or that product, I, it really makes me want to try it out. And so one that has been asked about a lot is this Anastasia. It's the self-made palette, so the latest eyeshadow palette release from Anastasia, and I absolutely loved the Shadow Couture World Traveler one, which I'm not sure how readily available that is because it was a limited edition thing, and now the new one's out, but this is what the self-made palette looks like. Um, I've only used it once. I'm wearing it today, and so far, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure that I like it as much as the last one. I'm going to have to use it some more because... I've only used a handful of the colors that are in here. There are some beautiful shades in here. I'm not critiquing it on that account. It's just like kind of personal preference and I really like the shades that were in that last one. But when I swatched Blossom, I thought it seemed pretty light. Like I wasn't getting a ton of color out of it. And so I decided I would try it on the lids today on top of a primer. It did better on a primer. So that's on my lids with a little pop of the ultra shimmery pink champagne like right in the center. I've got these two matte shades in my crease, one a bit more peachy, one more dark. As far as mattes go in this palette, I mean, those are pretty much it. Sherbet and hot chocolate because Butterfly seems like a little bit like borderline satiny finish. It's it's close to matte, but just so you know. That is my highlight, by the way. I've got Treasure around my inner corner, and then I smudged uh, Hot and Cold down on the lower lash line. So I guess I am wearing a lot of shades in this palette, but I will point out this does have two more shades than the World Traveler palette had. Um, it's got a lot of nice neutrals, you know, but with a few interesting colors like that green, kind of a bluish purple right down here. But um, I think something Anastasia with her palettes always does right a great brush. These are always such usable brushes. There's a crease brush that is a perfect size, I think, not oversized at all. And this one has one of those sort of a mix between a flat brush and a smudger brush. So this works really well if you want to go lower lash line with that. Or you can kind of stick it right there in the outer part of the crease too. So it's a pretty versatile brush. Also, this one from Stila so beautiful. It was one of those where I wasn't as impressed until I saw it in person, and it's called the Trust and Love gift set. It was $40, and it's really cool how instead of opening like a standard palette, it opens more like an envelope, and it kind of wraps around. And then there are the beautiful eyeshadows. You're getting a lip glaze, which I've never been a big fan of lip glazes. This one looks basically clear on my lips, so wah wah, wish they gave something else in there. And then this is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, which I have not yet tried. Let's look at it. The brush reminds me a lot of Too Faced Better Than Sex, so we'll see how that goes. I feel like there are a couple of distinct sides to this palette if you were looking for an easy way to wear it. You know, you've got these kind of bluish and cool grays, and then over here, you know, some more peachy shades, rusty colors, a plum, and I love this. This is speaking to me over here on this side because it reminds me so much of the um, Happy Place quad from Bare Minerals, which I absolutely adore. And some of these 
these shades in here can give me that same exact look. So that's the way I was wearing it yesterday. I mean, this is just a brilliant kind of shimmery peach shade paired with the plum. It looks so gorgeous. So if you were kind of wanting to try those kinds of colors in that quad, but maybe get a little more bang for your buck with more shadows, this is great. Also, the quality in this palette. I'm so glad that they got away from whatever they were doing in those square palettes. You know how they put out those kind of rose gold looking gorgeous to look at on the outside square palettes recently and I got one of those and I didn't think the quality was as good as I ex normally expect from Stila. This is kind of like back to what they were doing before. It reminds me of the textures of the shadows in the in the light palette, in the garden, you know, all those little rectangular palettes they put out. They were so buttery soft and smooth and this is what's happening here. I mean, they are the kind of shadows, kind of like Lorac, how you put your brush into them and you do have to kind of tap off some excess. You want to kind of pace yourself a little bit with these shadows because a little goes along way, but I kind of like that in an eyeshadow. As far as your 100% matte shades, they are here, here, and here. This one is close. It's a little bit more of a satiny finish. This one up here, you know, highly shimmery, silvery color. This one has a little bit of like tiny sparkle in it, but there's nothing super flaky, like glittery fallout that you're going to have with any of these. Last little makeup thing that I had to try. I had to try because I've been keeping up with all of the naturally pretty palettes that come out from It Cosmetics and they do have a special one um, for the holidays. Now it's this little kit, it's $28 and it's a six color eyeshadow palette plus a transforming hello light shade and then a mini um, Hello Lashes Mascara. I have had exceptionally bad luck with this mascara. You see how it's got the little ball on the end? I've had this mascara two times and both times the little ball has snapped off the end, like into the tube. When I've pulled it out, it's like the tube was doing a really great job of cleaning off the product and it just grabbed that little tip and kept it in there. So I feel like I've never really been able to appreciate what that mascara is capable of because of that little snafu that I've had every time. But this palette is so cute. Um, it's not like furry on the outside like the other ones are and it's about half the length it seems. All of the shades in here are new. So you've got all of your mattes and then this shimmery shade which could absolutely be a highlight on the cheeks if you want it to. It's not like crazy metallic shiny but it just gives a little bit of glow so you can of course layer that with these shadows you can just use it as an accent um, highlighter shade I did a look with all of them the other day and loved it if you like the rosy shades I feel like you've got a couple that definitely take you in that direction you've got your kind of deep brown you've got a couple of lighter shades up here but you know each shade is really its own thing I like that if you're gonna have a small palette like this there's nothing there's no duplicate type colors and this one I couldn't quite figure out if that was a dark brown or if it had a hint of plum. And I feel like on camera, I may be seeing a little hint of purple in that one. It's always hard to show these palettes that are in metallic packaging. This is like 28 bucks. I think an under $30 awesome gift. Definitely a nice one. to share right now. Um, just some individual products that I wanted to pick up, a couple gifts, a couple palettes. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye guys!